dear students in this video we will discuss the derivation of directivity of n element broadside array we will derive uh, the directivity of broadside array so what is the directivity formula directivity is equal to 4 pi by sigma b mere b is equal to 4 pi by sigma a where directivity of broadside array n element broadside array n element very very important one broadside array n element broadside array so d is equal to 4 pi by sigma a where sigma is b area sigma is b area okay you know the formula for b area what is the formula for the b area b area sigma a is equal to Pn of sigma. Okay, what is this Pn? Pn is Pn is normalized power. It is normalized power. So what is the form of the normalized power? Uh, normalized any normalized Pn is equal to P into P max. This is normalized. Now here we are we are not having any power components. Okay. So what is the relationship between power pattern and field pattern? I have discussed in the first uh, unit the relationship between power pattern and field pattern is equal to power pattern is equal to field pattern whole square field pattern whole square okay so d sigma means what is the value of d sigma the value of so sigma a is equal to d n d sigma normalized power to uh, d sigma D sigma value of D sigma is equal to sin theta into D theta D phi. So this is the value of D sigma. Okay. So power pattern is equal to field pattern. So here this power pattern I will express in terms of field pattern. Okay. So what is the field pattern? Normalized power of field pattern n of theta is equal to E of theta comma pi by any normalized one it is divided by its maximum value. Dividing by its maximum value okay so e of theta comma phi by e of theta comma phi maximum this is nothing but already for an n element array for an n element array we have derived this okay so for an n, uh, n element array et by et max we have derived that that we have got this e n of theta comma phi is equal to so e naught into sine n psi by 2 by side side by two. so this is ordinary electrical field uh, ordinary e tangential by this is the maximum value of this okay so the maximum value of this is already we have derived that the maximum electrical field et by e naught is equal to n so maximum electrical field is equal to n into e naught okay so the maximum value is that is n into e naught so e naught e naught will get cancelled Okay, so what is the thing we'll getting? Mm. Sin n psi by 2 by n into sin psi by 2. n into sin psi by 2. Therefore, sigma a is equal to integral of general formula it is n into sin theta into uh, ordinary formula is d sigma, but the power pattern can be written as electrical field whole square. Okay, so this can be written as phi is equal to 0 to 2 pi. Theta is from 0 to pi. In the place of P, I am writing in terms of uh, electrical field form. That is n square into what is the value of D sigma? It is sine theta into d theta into d phi. Okay, so therefore, Sigma A is equal to so double integral of <laughs> what is the value of E n? The value of E n is equal to the value of E n is equal to hmm, what is the value of E n? Sin n psi by 2 by n sin psi by 2 whole square into sin theta into d theta d phi okay so here what is the value of sin psi is equal to for a broadside array 
theta d cos theta. Okay. So if d is very small in the separation distance, if d is very small when compared with when compared with the length of array, when compared with the length of array. So I can write sine psi by two. Okay, is approximately equal to sine psi by two. Okay, so sine psi by two can be make it as equal to sine psi by therefore therefore sigma a is equal to double integral zero to two pi zero to pi sine then psi by two pi m psi by two whole square into sin theta into d theta d phi. Okay, so here no phi term component is there. I can bring that out. phi term component is there. So two pi into integration of zero to pi sin n psi by two pi n psi by two into sin theta into d theta. Okay, so here let z is equal to n psi by two. So n psi by two means n into what is the value of psi? The value of psi is equal to beta d cos theta. Okay, so so psi into beta d cos theta by two. Okay, z is equal to n psi by two. Okay, so let us substitute the. I am changing the limits. Okay, I am changing the limits for. Uh, Theta is equal to zero degrees. Or theta is equal to zero degrees. What is the value of z? Hmm. Z is equal to n beta two by two. Similarly, for theta is equal to pi r one eighty degrees. What is the value of z? Z is equal to minus minus n beta d by two minus n beta d by two. Okay, and uh, so the value of z is n beta d by two. Okay, so the value of z is equal to uh, n beta d cos theta by two. Okay, so if I differentiate this n beta d minus sine theta minus sine theta into d theta. Okay, so that is n into 2 pi by lambda into d into minus sin theta minus sin theta d theta by 2 to 2 to get cancelling. Therefore, dz is equal to minus n by d by lambda into sin theta into theta. Okay, so why I am doing this? All this because I am changing the limits. Therefore, sin theta into d theta can be replaced with minus lambda by n pi d minus lambda by n pi d into d z. Okay, so this is the expression. Okay, now I will substitute this here. So in the place of sin theta into d theta, the place of sin theta into d theta, I will replace this and I will replace the limits also. I will. For theta is equal to 0, z is equal to n beta by 2. For theta is equal to 180 degrees, the, so I am changing the limits. Okay, so I am changing the limits. Therefore, sigma a is equal to 2 by into integration of um, what are the limits? n beta d by 2 to minus n beta d by 2 into so i am substituting n psi by 2 as z sorry, z by z um, whole square into in the place of sin theta d theta it is replaced with minus lambda by n pi d into d z pi pi will get cancel okay so if n is very large n is very large then n beta d approximately equal to infinity therefore sigma a is equal to 2 lambda by 
nb two times by nb minus infinity to infinity sin z by z sin z by here so minus is there i can change the limits i can change the limits from minus infinity to uh, minus infinity to infinity to infinity to infinity sin z by z whole square into dz okay so from integral formulas from integral formulas integration of minus infinity to infinity sin z by z whole square into dz is equal to pi okay if i substitute with this so sigma a is equal to two lambda by and d into pi okay so <coughs> two lambda by and d into pi so this is the formula of our uh, beam area and the formula of the directivity directivity is equal to four pi by sigma a okay so it is four pi by two lambda pi pi and d pi pi will get cancelled once because they go Direct to is equal to 2 nd by lambda. So we have already discussed length of the array. Length of array L is equal to nd when n is large. When n is large. Therefore, the expression for directivity of a the expression for directivity of a broad side array. Broad side array, broad side array of n element of n element is given as 2n by lambda. So 